nice summer and the oval looks absolutely spectacular. And I'll tell you what, so did Arthur. He looked pretty good for someone who's been coming here for 50 occasions. Semi-final number four. And the man to watch here, the third fastest man from Saturday, Conan Luffnan, 25 years of age, the Queenslander. Silver in the World Beach Sprint Championships and he looks the one. But Paddy Turner, we saw him in the 200 earlier, Mel, and he was impressive. Yes, he was. He looked very good in the 200 metres. It's a bit of a tough gig for some, some of these athletes. They've got to run the 200 metre earlier and then backing up here for the semi-final. By the way, you saw Luke Mitchell's name there in black. He's not going here. Get so on we've mark. only got six. So that means Luffnan has only one to pick off. And with what we saw of Paddy Turner, the man in pink, that may be no easy task. There's only 0.75 of a metre between them. Have a look. Pink, green, yellow, blue all very congested only a couple of meters between them jake penny the back marker on three Set. luffman left with a brilliant start he blew straight by turner and at halfway he's got the race in his command the blue jones running well the red penny running well but connor luffman was always going to win that and he switched it off unfortunately paddy turner won't be running in the 200 by the look of it because he's popped a string right on the line there his right hamstring has blown out but that was a sensational start from connor luffman and after 10 meters that semi-final was his Oh, yes, it was. He, that's exactly right. You caught it beautifully, Pete. The, he got a cracking start, and there was no way, by the way he looked, that anyone was going to catch him. Just seeing here, position, driving other blocks. You know, it's just so important to get power of those first few steps, and that's exactly what I did. And once he got up, his top spe speed was fantastic. I really feel for, for Paddy Turner because he did look good in the 200. And I thought he was a really good chance for the 200 final, which we'll be covering later on. There you go with oh, Paddy with a hamstring. I can tell you that is being there and done that myself. It is really a terrible feeling. But a big Ooh. congratulations to Connor because um, that was a very well-deserved win. Well, let's hear from our winner now after semi-final number four. Well, Connor, an electrifying start. That set up the race. Yeah, no, it was great. This is the first final I've ever made, so pretty excited. It's a great thrill for you, and you transfer your great form on sand onto the grass. Yeah, it's a completely different running style, so it's a lot different, but, yeah, seems to be working so far. Yeah, certainly the beach sprinters seem to have fantastic acceleration, though, the first part of your race. Uh, yeah, I guess we're just used to running in sand, so it's like a snowplow, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got family here or family watching at home? Yeah, the entire family except one, which is Grandma. <laughs> Hello. But, um, yeah, no, glad they're all out here. They've come every year, and hopefully I can actually win it for them this year. Good luck. Thank you. It's looking like a tight final so far. There's only about 0.2 of a second between the four winners. Connor Luffman, 12.331, defeating Aidan Green and Jake Penny. How would that be, Mel? First ever final, and it's a store gift. That's not yeah. bad. <laughs> Very good. You know, he's a special boy, too, because he said hello to his grandmother. Hello, big Grandma. Tick, big tick from me. He yeah, gets. Grandma will be watching and very proud, no Rodriguez. doubt. Rodriguez Chico going from blue. Jarrah Conte, what a celebration we'll get if he wins. Leonard King, will he prove to be the king? The Piermont powerhouse. Connor Luffman from Queensland at 25 years of age. Lachlan Sheffield from a proud athletic family from Green. And Jason Bailey will be in front for quite a while from 10 metres. The electrician trained by Todd Island, who's already had a great day. It's a great final, Bill. Thank you. Well, it's very quiet. And the voice of the starter echoes around this lovely venue. Hello, uh, runners. Congratulations on making it through to the final. Now, runners, I'll ask you to walk to your blocks. Do not get on till I give you the command. I'll then bring you to the set position where you'll be held until everyone's firmly settled. If you feel unsettled at any stage, put your hand up. Good luck to you all. Walk to your blocks. 137 places on the honour roll have already been filled. The next one is about to be filled. The stall gift Get on your marks. of 2019.
Marcus Chico got a good start. Bailey will lead them for a long way. The white Leonard King going well. Now the favourite starting to surge through. Rodriguez Chico takes over the lead and the favourite's going to win. Droove is in the groove. The red comes to grief at the end, Conte. But it's Droove, Rodriguez Chico, who gets his name on the stall on a roll. He's the champion in 2019. But the one thing you cannot do in a stall gift final is panic. And King got up to him quickly, but he held his form, he held his nerve, and in a moment, is going to be holding the trophy. Well, he had, had self-belief, didn't he? And he had the confidence knowing that the back end of his race is probably the strongest. And you could just see the power that he's generating there from each step. And, you know, he knew there right then it was his. Does the fist in the air and think, happy days. I am the champion. I am the store gift winner. And I think, unfortunately for Jarrah Conte, he's popped his hamstring right there about seven or eight metres from the line, and that looked a nasty one too. Yeah. So it's the contrast in emotions, isn't it? The man celebrating as he crosses the line, and the man in red who had such high hopes in pain as he ends his quest.